I was on the sign-on desk at the NWCCA Cyclocross in Leverhulme, Leverhulme Park in Bolton. I was surprised to see Olympic gold medalist Jason and Laura stood in the queue. Only Jason was racing. Have you, have either of you got plans to race cyclocross? I'd like to, yeah. I like cyclocross. I think, uh, try and get a full season in one year. Try and finish within a few laps of the winner. <laughs> would be nice. And I'll just come to support again, because there's no way I'm racing cyclocross ever. Is Alwi riding a bike yet? Do you think he'd be better as... Do you think he'd be better at sprinting or endurance when he grows up? Do you have any, any tips for getting kids into riding bikes? Albie is riding a bike, isn't he? Although we've taken the pedals off because he prefers to scoot. <laughs> he doesn't really like it, does he? No, no, he had a bit of a get down, didn't he? He can ride, though, he can pedal, can't he? Yeah. Uh, but for now, he's happy scooting about, which is fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, we're not really that bothered now, are we? Because he's got the. He knows how to now. Um, and he did it, didn't he, for a week or so, but then, yeah. Yeah, big get down, didn't they? Put Someone him off. made him crash. Maybe I should have called him. <laughs> missed. I missed. Otherwise, he'd still be pedalling. The annoying thing is, when he stands up, he says, like mummy. He's like, I don't crash that many times. <laughs> so. I'm going to crash like mummy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless him. But, um, yeah, he, he's got it, isn't he? He he's knows how to. Yeah. Um, oh, and then tips. I mean, I did that whole Instagram post, didn't I? And I had loads of people. Um, like say to me, oh, how did you do it? Because they've got children who are like four or five and still can't ride the bikes. Um, but we just didn't, we didn't push him on his um, balance bike, did we, initially? And it was only lockdown that forced us into it, wasn't it? Because we were just looking for ideas um, to wear him out, weren't we, basically? And he just picked it up really well. Um, we just took him to that BMX park. Um, and Pushed him up a big hill. Yeah, much, and promised yeah. magazines. <laughs> if he went down it, and he got a lot of magazines. And he's not stopped since, has he? No, not really. And then oh. we didn't. We just put him. We let him have his bike with um, no pedals on, didn't we? First, um, to yeah. get him used to actually riding it. And then, um, yeah, my sister did a lot of picking up the back wheel, <laughs> pretending that he was pedaling because he wanted to pedal backwards weirdly. But since doing that Instagram, like that's what lots of kids do. Really? It's funny. Mm. It's a lot easier pedaling back. It isn't is, it? yeah. Although you don't go anywhere, but yeah, mm. it is easier. Mm. No, he picks you up. I don't know. I don't think there's any right or wrong way of doing it, really, is there? Mm. So I suppose we, he kind of, he learnt the balance, didn't he? Yeah. And then he learnt the brakes, weirdly. Yeah. Because he had the bike without the pedals on. And then we put the pedals on and he learnt to pedal. Yeah, kind of way he went. So and that was it, really. So yeah, that was the order that we did it in. But I don't think there's any. No. And like you can't really force it, like well as we've found out, he doesn't want to ride it now with pedals. No. Quite so you just sort of let have to let him go at their own pace really, don't you? And just if when it happens it happens. Once they get the balance though, it's, that's the main thing, isn't it really? Because he'll go along with his feet off all day, he finds that hilarious. He does, yeah, and he almost tests himself, doesn't he? Yeah. Keeps him up, doesn't he? So that's the main thing I suppose. And then after that. So there you are. Buy him a magazine, push him off a big hill. <laughs> Just don't let them crash because now he doesn't want the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> like mummy. Like mummy, yeah. Well, at least he didn't get broken shoulder. That would have been bad. Mm. How, how do you manage everyday life with a family alongside your incredible careers? Do you enjoy it? We manage it badly, yeah. I think we enjoy it quite a lot. I do, anyway. It's almost funny, though, isn't it? When things go terribly wrong. Not and you've got manage. absolutely. Like you have to deal with <laughs> you have to deal with the situation you've now <laughs> forced yourself into. Um, but it's made trips more fun, I reckon, because um, he's there, isn't he? It's like I don't know. It's a little bit carnage, I suppose, on airplanes and stuff, isn't it? But it's quite nice when he's there. It can be, yeah. He's up, up and down, isn't he? He changes. He obviously, he's growing up, isn't he? So yeah, because I mean, we took him to Canada, no problem. We just slept. Dream. Yeah. yeah. But um, and then. A few months later, he's running off and he was down the aisle and yeah. on the plane. <laughs> at least there's enough teammates along the way, though, that it's quite funny still. Yeah. And then at home, we're just kind of, don't we? Yeah, we're just unorganised, aren't we? Yeah. But at least the grandparents help, I suppose. Because it doesn't matter. If we were unorganised and then you know, like late for daycare or whatever, we'd, I reckon it would be a lot more stressful. But because our, like his grandparents are just there, we can ring them up like well half an hour basically because they live half an hour away half an hour before like ah i've forgotten please can you look after it the people have left they'll just come round <laughs> happy retirement mum and dad <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I mean, auntie and uncles are easy as well, I suppose. They're not too far away. And they saw him out. Beautiful. With the knowledge and experience you have now, if you could have a word with your younger self, what advice would you have given to yourself ahead of your first Olympic Games? Um, I think my advice for anyone going to the Olympics would just be to relax and try and enjoy it, really. You know, I think it's special, isn't it? It's different for everyone as well, the experience. Yeah. And I think people would say, oh, you must do this and you must do that, but just do what, what you want, really, experience-wise. You know, focus on your, your event, obviously, and then once that's out of the way, just enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, if I was telling someone else, I would say just make sure you always enjoy it, but I wouldn't go back to myself and tell myself anything different because it's easy it's easy to say isn't it because you know the outcome <laughs> i suppose but i wouldn't change anything about my experience because i loved everything about it um which like i say it's easy to say because the outcome was successful um but yeah i don't know i mean mine was different because it was london as well um so you had all the hype around it and i don't know yeah it was just a really kind of well, I mean, I've never experienced it, I suppose. So, so then the experience it at home was just like insane. Really. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't actually tell my younger self anything different. I'd just say, go out and do it again. It's fun. <laughs> it is. It's good fun. It is fun. Uh, you know, but just yeah, people get stressed out sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I was nervous myself. I don't feel. I wouldn't say I ever felt stressed around it because um, I didn't really know what to expect. I suppose. Um, mm. No, I never got stressed. I had a whale at the time. But we I had a really good group. I, mean, we, I had a good group of a lot of experience as well. So yeah. Just kinda of went along with the ride. You know? It just didn't even feel like it it doesn't really feel when you're when you're in the velodrome it doesn't feel like anything different, does it? No. Because we do it so often. Yeah. So it just felt like you were at another race. It could have been Euros, it could have been Worlds. It it felt like We had a very good support race. team, didn't we? We really did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean just everyone involved. Mm. But you could really tell, um, well, I mean, both sides around because it didn't actually change that much, did it, from Beijing to London? No, a lot of familiar faces. Yeah, and like you could really tell that everyone had like bought into this bigger goal yeah. and yeah. this kind of yeah. Everyone arrived as one, didn't they? Yeah. Stuck to the plan for them. How's the gardening going? What are you growing at the moment? Vegetable plants going <laughs> alright, isn't it? <laughs> the vegetable cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot one of them. We were talking about it earlier. I forgot we had carrots. Oh yeah, we had a tiny, tiny, teeny carrot. Oh, we had tons of carrots. Oh. I had some more. Oh, okay. Pretty much. Oh. Oh. I don't know these carrots. I no, I don't think you had many. I think I smashed them all. I had about like two dozen carrots. We had the um, a cucumber. We had one cucumber. Just that was one. lovely, wasn't it? We had food poisoning. <laughs> we had food poisoning. We grew that. <laughs> Put us off lettuce, that, didn't it? <laughs> Something has put me off lettuce for life. I, I never want to see another lettuce again. Very strange. <laughs> Mustn't have washed it properly. <laughs> He's saving grace or something. You were so much worse. <laughs> well, if you're going to give me food poisoning, you can take the majority of it. Yeah. Still, we lived. And everything else. We got spuds. Yeah, right. potatoes are good. And onions look really good, don't they? Onions look pretty good. We had, uh, we got loads of tomatoes. We had one. Yeah. And then we've got one that looks like it's... Getting done. Yeah, not quite ripe, nearly. Nearly ready. Okay, what else we got? Cabbages stoned. Cabbages got eaten, we just fed the wildlife. <laughs> uh, we not had a single apple of our apple tree. Apple tree's doing fantastic. <laughs> and the strawberries. Strawberries, pear trees. But then we grew a uh, wild strawberry. Yeah, that was a random one. A strawberry just turned up in the garden, didn't it? Well, yeah, like connected to something, it didn't just turn up. Well, yeah, obviously it grew. <laughs> a strawberry plant turned up. Yeah, it did, which is cool. So yeah, it's going well, I think, you know. Potatoes and onions aren't bad, are they? Hit and miss. Good, good growing. Spuds are good, aren't they? Yeah. And that mm -hmm. tomato was nice, but you don't really like tomatoes. It's turned, <laughs> got about 100 in the green eggs. <laughs> <laughs> they just look pretty when they grow. They do look good, don't they? Yeah. That's about it. Well, we get better every year. I mean, we didn't have a cucumber last year, did we? Next year we might have two. We didn't have carrots either. They didn't grow in the Wally Boots, remember? No, they didn't do so well, did we? That, that was a typical look good on TV. Yeah. Not in real life. <laughs> well, because it just said leafy. We did. did well in the little green and so on, didn't we? Oh, is that where the cat was, huh? Yeah, did them uh, before the tomatoes were mm -hmm. really early. That's why they were so early. They're not going in the Wally Boots, 
Oh, we got some celery in. We got pears in. He's a peach. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't eat any of them though, would you? They're not ready yet, I wouldn't say. Whether they'll get ready, I need some sunshine on them, don't I? No, no, it's going to be inside, it's going to look a bit better now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do, they look alright. Just need a bit of sunshine, don't they? <laughs> what are peaches? Peaches, they're peaches, 